I'm going to do episode two of our spearfishing secrets and today uh, there was after episode one there was a lot of guys that asked for breathe up um, breathing how do you do the breathe up what do you do so in today's episode we're going to talk about it's not going to be a long episode um, we're going to be talking about your breathe up um, and and how to do a proper breathe up before you do a dive um, to obviously extend your bottom time um, so if you haven't seen the first episode in the first episode we talked about your diving reflex that was the one that explained diving reflex so yeah subscribe to the channel there's loads of more uh, more of these small episodes that are going to be coming up um, as you can see we are busy with a paddy course at the moment um, so all the guys are down there getting dressed um, so yeah i'm going to talk about the breathe up now so the first thing i want to explain is um, the urge to breathe that's actually what happens um, so you get a CO2 toxic buildup, and that starts to rise. And I'm going to show a graph now. So as your CO2 tox toxic um, rises, you get an urge to breathe. And at the same time, while this is happening, your O2 is actually becoming lower and lower in your blood. So at a point, the blackout point, you need to be, um, when, when you reach the point where you want to breathe, you need to be able to have enough oxygen left in your blood in your system to be able to get back to the surface so if your CO2 um, levels in your blood is too low you're gonna miss the point where you need to breathe and that's where you black out okay so according to the graph you can see there that's a safe safe spot where, where you need to, to start coming back you've got more than enough oxygen if you miss that point and your CO2 toxin levels is too low then you're going to miss that spot where you, where you realize that you have to get back to the surface and your oxygen is going to come too late and that's when you black out. So, okay, why I explained this is the first thing that you need to understand is hyperventilating. <clears throat> what is hyperventilating? Hyperventilating is anything other than normal breathing. So, this is a big mistake that everybody makes. As soon as you say that don't hypervent, you think that hyperventilating, hyperventilating is this. <sighs> That's not hyperventilating. It is hyperventilating, but it's not the only thing. So what most of the divers does is actually they lie on the surface and they go like this. And you hear it a lot when you're diving off the boat and you see the guy right next to the boat. You can see him doing actually these deep breaths and exhales and deep breaths and exhales. Um, that's actually hyperventilating. So what you're doing there is you're lowering your CO2 levels. Um, and you'll feel very comfortable when you're diving, but it's actually very dangerous because you're not comfortable. You're just pushing your CO2 levels down so that you don't get that urge to breathe. So the guy will come back and, yes, I'm feeling so comfortable today. Um, that's actually very dangerous. When, you, when you're diving, you need to be uncomfortable. That's your safety net. As soon as you become very uncomfortable, that's when you realize that you need to get back to the surface and that's why you'll still have enough oxygen to get back to the surface. If you're not comfortable, uh, if you're very comfortable at the bottom, you'll black out before you even realize that you needed to go back to the surface. So, very, very dangerous. Do not hyperventilate. Any breathe up that I'm going to talk about is normal breathing. Just do normal breathing. Okay. So, there's, there's three chambers in your body that you can breathe in. It's your abdominal, in your chest, and then you can pull your shoulders back and you can even use the upper body to breathe more. So, if you tell somebody to take a deep breath, the first thing they will do is they'll fill their chest. With, with with oxygen there's a couple of things that happens that you don't want to uh, that you don't do not want to happen okay so when you're doing that you're actually closing your diaphragm and you're closing your your, your abdomen that's a big part of the, the air you can use so if you're doing this you're actually closing that okay so then you're closing a whole chamber of, of oxygen that you could have used for your dive okay 
so that activates your um, your heart rate um, and it actually um, pushes your heart rate up it doesn't push your heart rate down so what you want to do is inhale in your stomach so you want to go that's normal breathing so as you're doing your breathe up do all your inhales into your abdomen um, that lowers your heart rate if you watch a baby if you watch a dog sleeping uh, if you're really really relaxed they, they're using the abdominal um, space to breathe so when you're doing your breathe up do that okay on your last breath empty all your air use your stomach muscles to empty all your air <sighs> Puts everything out and then start filling from the bottom up so you start filling your abdomen then your chest and then you pull your shoulders back for that last bit okay so and uh then you go for your dive so around about one to two minutes breathe up into your abdominal normal breathing into your abdominal space um, that will lower your heart rate that will make you feel relaxed your divers reflex would have kicked in by now second or third or fourth dive uh, wet your face like we talked in the first episode and and then um, take your final breath exhale big use your stomach muscles push all the air out one big inhale stomach chest pull your shoulders back to fill the last bit of sp space here at the top and then you'll be getting your dive okay guys i hope that helps anybody um if you find this helpful please subscribe to the channel if there's anything else that you want tips or secrets um that we we can cover leave it in the comment section leave a comment is this helpful for you any other tips that that you feel that um that you can help somebody else's with guys i'm not a professional diver this is stuff that i have learned over the last couple of years that have helped me um and and like i said um, there's many ways to do this there's many correct ways um, there's many wrong ways um, this is a way that works for me um, and it's helped me improve my diving so yeah if it helps you leave a comment um, and yeah see you guys soon